Last time, Garen used the pressure washer to assist in digging the lower section of Shay's earth bag bedroom. Dad cuts in the outline of the building to indicate where the posts and earth bags will be placed. You know, we're all working at this at a different time, so when I went through and drew my circles and kind of got the heart shape set up, I came out and I cut it all in where we all needed to dig down. It's a simple way of making sure that we had everything in the right place. To get my point at the bottom of the heart, I need to have this section between where this circle intersects. Most of the time in our buildings, we've just put a post in and just drew a big circle around it. Well, here we had to have two circles that come together. That's still not too bad. That's only two stakes. But now we have this third point of our calculation. So where do we put the heart? And I saw Tom Langworth, thank you Tom, how a square would fit in there and be that third point. And this has to be a right angle. We needed a couple railroad ties, so we looked online and there were some people who wanted to get rid of theirs. We went and helped them and dig them out, out of their property, and the ground was so soft, we could just rock them back and forth and pull them out of the hole. No, we just rocked them back and forth and they popped out of the ground. If you're willing to go and dig up some railroad ties for someone, then, you know, if it makes them happy, it makes us happy, it's a deal. Twenty-five years ago, I married way over my head. Yay, twenty-five. You got twenty-five more to go. Or more. It really doesn't seem that long. It's, it's, it's good. Twenty-five years. I recommend it. You can be together and make it difficult, or you can be together and enjoy each other. So why not be together and enjoy each other? The stronger that Gary and I are as a couple, the better it is for the whole family. It does take uh, a little bit of compromise on both parts. Even this property was something that we weren't in agreement with at the very beginning. We drive in to the property, and I pull around, and I am just like psyched. I love this property. And oh, and I'm looking at the potential, we can do this and that and everything. I have no idea that he's feeling this way about the property. And there's an old house, and I'm a little bit concerned, because the kids, you know, how they just want to go explore, which is great, but I don't know if there's snakes or mm -hmm. who knows what's around there. I, I would have never thought that this would have been the property that we, <laughs> But when you came back, you were so excited and you started just casting the vision and we were all buying into it. The next thing that we really compromised on this property was I wanted to go with a small house. So I always wanted to go small <laughs> and Gary wants to go big. Yeah, I built <laughs> stuff, you know. Ur, ur, ur. Oh no, I wanted out of steel. And, and then, no, 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 I want to go straw bale. So we research every one of these we things. We went through so many and, things. And steel, straw bale, and logs. And pretty soon it's like, well, how about that little house thing over there? Just kind of live in there. So we remodeled it a little bit and enough that we could survive in it. It became the house, it became the place. And there's something about smallness because, you know, the kitchen's busy. As you imagine all six of us in there cooking. It's just crazy and it's fun. Once we lived out here for a while and started getting different ideas of how to live, those constructs we had in the city that were very... Just, Boxy. Yeah. And we started talking to people who lived out here. And then we started thinking about where we really want to put the house. And we looked over here behind this little house are all these trees. Why are we setting up here in the middle of this plain area? Eventually we come to this idea of building these houses around this little tree courtyard area. Are we going to keep being married? Absolutely. I think so. I, <laughs> I, I would marry Gary all over again. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. It didn't cost her much either. It didn't cost me much? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Since it's an open design, and we have taken posts now and place, we're going to be placing posts in certain areas and headering over to help support the roof. So that's what the posts are for. They're there to put uh, headers across and some beams, basically, and to set the roof on. The back can come all the way up to this. Oh, so you're thinking for the posts, and we can just drop these two. A lot of times we'll just be able to bury our posts when they're long enough. We have shorter posts. We're digging out the uh, three foot step down into Shay's bedroom and putting in posts and getting ready for the roof actually. The posts are for the roof. 
So we're actually going to be placing them on a foundation, a concrete type block foundation, and then concreting in brackets that actually hold those in. And that's how we're doing all the posts. The white bricks here are a, a foundation that we're putting underneath the posts so that we can, the posts are not quite far enough to go all the way down in because these have to be three feet plus two feet plus eight feet. So we got to add a little extra so we can get them up in the air to hold the roof. Shay worked super hard. She studied a bunch and she got her permit. So that was super exciting. She did excellent. Passed with flying colors. How does it feel, Shay? Like I'm driving. You're doing a good job keeping your eyes on the road. <laughs> Living in the country, you get a an education in driving and being aware of your surroundings. And I think I was around 10 when I started driving. It's really good practice. So originally we were thinking we had to dig it all out. And then we realized we really only have to do a donut shape because as we're laying the bags, we can be taking the dirt from the middle and putting it in the bag. Like the cheek kisses. Hey, hugs. We'll be okay. <laughs> you just want my bottle. That's what you want. Okay, so mom planted in there. I planted in here. Bryson was much more successful, but I got a few. Oh, I don't think you so. got a bunch in there. I made just a little greenhouse really quick out of a plastic bottle. Just cut around it, leaving the bottom attached so I could just bend it up. Then I sifted some some dirt and put it in there. We, we eat these little mini bell peppers constantly. And so I thought, hey, we'll use some of those seeds. Planted them in, the, in my little greenhouse, homemade greenhouse, and they grew. We went ahead and planted them in the self-watering container. And then we just rebuilt our um, self-water thing back up. Cleared it out, make sure it still worked, and then it was still down there functioning good. So we just put everything back together. The whole point of the self-watering container is that when the rains, it fills up all these rain barrels. There's almost a thousand gallons of water here. <laughs> and this is really the only self-water container I have hooked up to it. And I thought, well, I would go ahead and run the hose out and water that tree there. And I left it on all night. I drained all 1,000 gallons on that one tree. So now, because I did that, I have to come out here and water these by hand. Oh, no. <laughs> Until we get another rain to fill those things up. But... Thanks, Level. guys. Uh huh. Sit. Bye. The bottom layer, exactly the length that we use all around. Okay. That's the most so my suggestion, yeah, is that we get a string with a stick tied at the right spot so that we can take the stick out and line it. First bag. We uh, put together the foundation just like typical. We do have some pretty nice ground out here. So, you know, we drop it in two or three different rows down so we get kind of a foundation uh, that's placed in. And then we start you know, building on top of that and kind of gauging in where that floor is going to set and how we start, start the foundation of these things. Okay, we put the plastic in, backfill, tamp that edge, and then we set the next row. And when it tamps out, it expands quite a bit this way. Are you following me? Dun, 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 dun. It's not my man. Shay and I are just kind of painting up a few little things that need to be done in the courtyard, sprucing things up. All of a sudden, she gets this creative idea. She had spilled some paint on her hand, and all of a sudden, it became interesting to her. So she says, well, let's put some more on there. So she has all this paint on her, and then she says, oh, it needs detail. So all of a sudden, she's got a box of paints out, and she's in there doing detail and, and having a lot of fun. So that's so kind of a little glimpse into, two of the childhood of if there's a little bit of creativity, we just, you just got to go with the flow. That's right. <laughs> Concrete, right? Dun dun dun. 
a pole. Garen uh, went ahead and set our first post with the uh, brick foundation basically that has a, a brackets that have connect to the bottom and just got it in, it's perfect. And you got them all concreted in the brackets all set. A couple of different points of uh, security in these types of posts. One is at the base when it's bracketed in and it doesn't move in any direction. The second one is at the top when it's attached to a beam. In our case, we don't have just two floating beams in the area. We have three points, like a triangle. With the three different points, the posts just need to be now secured with the bags. Look at that beautifully leveled pole. It's gorgeous. We really appreciate you being here. Stay tuned for next time when we continue building on Shay's earth bag bedroom. We have a podcast every Wednesday. Last week, Shay and I gave a list of our favorite facts and conspiracies. You're invited to the next podcast and we hope to see you there. Bye. Consider supporting us on Patreon. This is the dirt our buildings are built out of. This is wet too. Look at this. We gotta cut it like a brick. So that's hard. Are they still plastic? They are. This is uh, in support of Silver's Creations. Is that our string, Mom? Or are you just stringing us along? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a roll today, Mom. I Watch know, out. Uh, on the first day of the bag day. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Yeah. Be careful, there might be rattlesnakes in there. Well, you're in the right place. If you knock knock me over, I will get back up again. Oh. What, Mom? I want to get your mastery on film. <laughs> because I want to show off your mastery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's Diesel! Move your butt. Get it too far in. Diesel! Diesel.